Seton Hall students are so inspiring. I mean, sitting in honors, really the first semester, sometimes it's almost frightening to see like, wow, these people are so smart. I'm looking now to see where people are going. I mean, some of my friends are going to Oxford, to Harvard, getting jobs with Goldman Sachs, with Merck. I mean, it's just really, it's, it's incredible to see where people are going. Also my science classes, I mean, yeah, there was a little competition, but it was always very friendly. I mean, we worked together. It's really a tight group of people. We're all on the same, we're all on the same path. We're all doing this together. And we're pushing each other really to, you know, go, go as far as you can. I think that's what Seton Hall is. Seton Hall has the most amazing professors anywhere. I mean, this is a place where they care. They care about teaching. They're there in the classroom. They're involved. They're energetic. They put a lot of, you know, emotion and, and power into what they do. But they're also there outside of the classroom. They care about who you are. I mean, if you have, have an issue or problem, they're there to talk with you and really guide you through that. I mean, they're here all the way these four years to, to bring us to the point where we step out into the world. And I know because of our faculty, you know, I'm ready to go. My premium advisor was absolutely amazing. I mean, she reached out and contacted me even before I matriculated at Seton Hall, uh, guided me to different scholarships, and really has been there along the way. I mean, I've sent a thousand emails back and forth with her over the course of of these years. Um, she's been there helping me with internships, just guidance with classes. I mean, I can Skype her at 10 o'clock at night and she'll be there for me. I mean, she has been absolutely amazing. I would not be here without her help. My pre-med advisor actually uh, got me in touch with a alumni position from Seton Hall. So the summer after my freshman year, I worked with him. He's an orthopedic oncological surgeon at Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York City. So for a summer, I shadowed him uh, in his office hours, I was able to observe 30 surgeries with him, and I also worked on um, some of his clinical research projects. And at the end of the summer, I left with four uh, video publications. So because of her and really the powerful alumni network, I mean, that gave me a tremendous uh, boost of confidence and really an amazing experience. Uh, during my sophomore year, I worked in the lab of Dr. Moldau. I did a project looking at stress hormones and how different situations affect how your body responds to stress. And I think this is really something that you see. I mean, Seton Hall science faculty really get students involved. I give them experiential learning situations and tasks that really help you apply what you learn in the classroom. I mean, yes, you sit in the classroom and you learn stuff, but the applications are also really, really powerful. Um, this is where science really works. And we see that happening in Seton Hall's labs. I mean, there's some really cutting edge research going on. And it also gave me uh, the preparation I needed to go and get internships um, at other places, you know, pursuing you know, really in-depth involved research as well. Um, after my sophomore year of school, I got a research position at a lab at Columbia University Medical Center looking at diabetes in a, a mouse model. And it was really an incredible experience as working with PhD students, graduate students who were you know, working on their dissertations. And at the end of the summer, I was actually invited to come back again for the following summer. So I spent two summers at a lab in Columbia and I didn't really realize the, the power of the Seton Hall education until I left Seton Hall and, and went to Columbia. I was in the lab working with students from Columbia's medical school, from Columbia's graduate schools, and I realized that my courses prepared me for, for everything that came. Even when there wasn't something that I hadn't necessarily seen before, I had the tools, I had the background because of my education to figure things out and, and really hold my own and be a part of Columbia's research team. I mean, that was, that was an amazing feeling to see what Seton Hall gives us. Servant leadership is in the air. Seton Hall really gave me a number of opportunities where I could turn out and uh, serve both at the community and on a larger scale. Um, I was a mentor in the University Honors Program for three years. I've been a tutor in the Student Support Services um, since sophomore year, so tutoring math and science. And also in that program, I founded the Open Doors uh, Mentoring Program for students who want to go into healthcare medicine, really working with them to give them the extra support they need to get them where they want to go. I think my trip with Dove was really like a very pivotal moment in my, uh, my career at Seton Hall. And that one week in El Salvador, I mean, just absolutely amazing, mind-blowing to see really what people are going through um, and how that affects us. Because I worked in an orphanage for a week. And when you spend a week with children who really have incredible stories that have been through so much, and yet they give back to you with their, with their smile, with their, their love, I mean, it's really amazing. Amazing to see, and you come back, it gives you perspective that I don't think you could have anywhere else. And Seton Hall gave that to us by, by giving us these opportunities. I think Seton Hall has really, really done a lot to make me see what does it mean to be a doctor, both in terms of, of academic preparation. I mean, my science classes were fantastic. Um, also really the other side, being a doctor is about empathy. It's about compassion. And I think that's, that's part of Seton Hall's culture. 
that we're a, we're a place where people care. We're a place where we're not here for ourselves. This education is not for me. It's not for us. It's because we're going to go do something else. We're here to do it for them. And I think that's, that's what makes this education powerful.